In 2015, Mike has set an all-time world record deadlift pull of 795 pounds weighing only 181. This is his story. Since then, I've been through two knee surgeries, two pec tears. My knees were just killing me, even after surgery. In September 18, he had a surgery to repair a torn meniscus where the surgeon cut out and smoothed away the damaged tissue. They also performed a microfracture procedure to the area of injured cartilage with hopes of sparking some healing. By 2019, he had returned to lifting but was having some issues in shifting to the side during squats off of his surgery leg. If we slow down the descent, you can really see how troubling this was. When we first started working together, he was regularly trying to squat over 500 pounds, yet performing a single leg squat was creating 7 out of 10 pain. One of his first things that he gave me was grab a box, start with two inches, hinge your hips, touch down, focus on building uh, tension in your foot to your quad. I'm like, really? That's it? There's no way that's going to help. But I believed in him and I did it. The first time I tried it, I couldn't even touch down on one leg to a two inch box to the floor. No way. Within three weeks of doing this, I was able to go from two inches to a foot with zero pain. Just doing that basic movement allowed me to get back under a squat bar, get back under the load. Let's go, dog. Let's go. Here's how I teach the touchdown squat that I gave to Micah and how you would progress it. We're going to hinge our hips, bring our chest forward, and your squat down till your heel taps the ground and back up like that. So the hips go back, tap, and back up. From a front view, here, hips back, tap, knees staying in line, and back up. There's an eggshell down there, tap the eggshell, don't break the eggshell. So I don't want you to step off the box. It's not a lateral step down, it's a lateral touchdown. So we're here, tap, and back up. Now, eventually, you build it up. So let's put a couple more plates on. Let's get up a little bit higher. Increasing the demands on your mobility, your stability, tap down and back up. Over the past year, Micah has worked tirelessly on doing the little things behind the scenes to support his lifts, improve his posterior shoulder stabilizers to help his bench that has been plagued with pec tears, and improve his hip control symmetry with exercises like this that help support the deadlift. And it's paid off, as recently Micah totaled 1,880 pounds, placing him top 6 in the world in the 181 weight class with a 688 pound squat, a 750 pound deadlift, and a 441 pound bench press. At the end of the day, you have to keep fighting for yourself and never take no for an answer. Anything is possible.